Hi everyone, welcome to my uh, man cave. Just want to talk about my uh, 1.9 16 valve Punto GT build. Now I've been talking to some friends about this car and I've, I've had quite a bit of interest. You know, people asking me um, what I'm doing to it, where do I get the parts from, etc, etc. So just went to make a video or YouTube channel now I'm not a blogger or vlogger or anything I just wanted to um, share my experience with this build uh, never done this before I don't know how it works so um, what I'll do as I build this car slowly or put it back together uh, I'll make some videos so I'll make some I'll take some pictures load up some information about it if you guys interested I'm happy to answer any questions. I'm happy to help anyone who has interest in these in these cars or let's say Fiat in general, because um, it is pretty much lots of different Fiat parts put together. So as you may know, these engines come in 1.4 eight valve in standard. Um, we've built a couple of. Uh, 1.9 8 valves in the past my brother did um, we've had some good results from it however I believe we've hit some sort of limits with those engines uh, we made about 330 brake in one of them but it just don't seem there is much more in it as in you can't um, you know you can't get to the next stage because that's the limit of the engine probably so what I've done, well I haven't built it, this car was, um, this engine was brought from Greece from a good friend of mine. So um, I haven't built this, so I'm not going to call it a build, so I'm going to call it a, um, you know, a little project. So what we have here, it's a, was a 1.616 valve engine from a Bravo. Um, it's been stroked to 1.9, so it's 1.9, 16 valve. The car, which this was in, came from Greece, as I've said. Um, it was a left-hand drive. We are here in the UK, as you know, the cars are right-hand drive. So before I do anything on the black one, on the one from Greece, I've put myself a right-hand drive shell, which is this one here. Um, I've taken everything out from the Greek shell and decided to put everything in this one so I'll make it a right hand drive oh shit go 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 yeah <laughs> the usual plan was to put this engine in this Mark 1 you know but things didn't work out there were a lot more work involved, loads of small issues that I wasn't sure about. So I've decided to keep it a Punto and bought the shell from a friend, from a local, local friend. <clears throat> um, it's a tidy shell, it's got a few little bits that I need to sort it out. But overall there's no rust, so that's the main thing. Everything else is pretty much fixable. So, yeah, this is the car. Uh, we'll talk about the engine in a, in a moment. What we have here.
before we talk about the engine. I had this in the car running a few months ago um, in the show. I'll put some, pick some videos up later on. But what happened was, as I was getting ready to um, get the car road legal, MOT and text, one of my friends noticed these are the adjustable custom made pulleys from Greece which was on the car. So we've noticed that some of these bolts where it holds the sensor in place were cracked. I don't know if you can see, I'll try to focus my camera. So you know things like these. Look at that. It's not too bad. This one here, look at that, it's been it's been literally held together by a thread. So it can probably what will happen now if if I was to put my foot down and if this centerpiece slips away from these bolts, the cam belt will spin, but the cams won't spin. And you know this will cause some major major engine damage. So what I've done, I've pulled the engine back out to back back out from the bay. I've taken the everything apart again. So we are now waiting for a new set of pulleys. Um, they are a bit hard to source, so um, it's taken some time. But while that's been delivered, while that's been ordered, I'm doing other bits and pieces around the car. So um, we've done some tidying up. Engine is pretty much uh, ready to go in. I'll go through the specs a little bit. We have an external wastegate here. <clears throat> on a octopus manifold GT2876 turbo hybrid <clears throat> I'll try to get some more light in there So, it's got high lift cams. I'm not sure what's made at the moment. I need to look into it again. It's a Bravo bottom end stroke, stroke, crank, uh, stroke wicket, which is a, a crank from another Fiat, Fiat brand. Um, it's running on standalone management called EFI. Um, Euro 1 EFI ECU. I've got some tightening up around here. It's not the best at the moment, not finished with it. Um, just make, because the turbo's right on right next to the bulkhead. Um, trying to, I've foiled, foil tipped everything. I will put a heat shield behind that again, again just to make it extra safe. Um, that's where we're at the moment. Power wise, I don't want to talk about too much as I'm so I don't have any evidence of what is produced. Um, but I will put the scan on the rollers once it's up and running, once it's on its full potential again. Uh, let's say it's probably a 12 second car at the moment as it stands. Um, with some with some light uh, some weight shredding. And with a pair of slicks, I'd like to see in high tens if possible, probably low 11s in quarter mile times. Mm, it's a standard gearbox with, with no LSD at the moment, so that's going to be an issue. The biggest issue is going to be the uh, part where you, where you can't put the power down, it probably will spin quite a bit. So, on quarter mile with slick tyres, I'm hoping. With, this, with the power it's been um, claimed to have, should run um, low 11s or maybe high 10s. I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll see. What what I'll do, I'll keep taking pics and taking videos and we'll upload as we go along. And we'll, we'll probably do a quarter mile drag there in Santa Pod. Or wherever we can we can get into 
with more videos, more pictures. And see where we go from there. Um, I don't know what else to say really. So anyone who knows about me, I had I had puntos for a long time. Uh, but I've been away from the car scene for about I'll say six, seven years probably. Due to some changes in lifestyle. Being married, house, kids, etc. etc. So I just managed to um, I just managed to find some time to get back into back, back into these cars really. Do I regret it? Mm, maybe. No. No, it is just it's just taking up so much time at the moment. But the good thing is it's not my daily car, so I can just sit in the garage and I can miss a lot of it when I when I have time really. So um quite like it as it gets me away from uh, my daily life and you know all this stuff. So it's like a meditation for me. Just come in here, get my tools out, do some work on it, tidy up. Hopefully one day we'll be driving it. Yeah, so any questions, anything you want to know, you can always send me a message, follow me, subscribe. Is that what they say? Subscribe to my videos. <laughs> so I'm happy to um, share any information. Um, open to any criticism, any recommendations, or whatever you guys want to say. Um, yeah. That is all. I'm not an expert by any means. It's just a little hobby. We just um, get our hands hands dirty when we can, when we have time. Me, my brother, and a friend of mine. We just just get away from reality for for once in a while. <clears throat> yeah, that So what needs to do at the moment? Cam police need to go in. Uh, engine needs to be timed. A couple of welding jobs here and there just to make things a little bit easier to access. Um, I have my Brembo calipers coming soon, which are from a Fiat Coupe. These are the standard brakes. Um, they're good for standard power, but anything, anything over, you just they do fade after a couple of hard stops, so um, these won't be any good whatsoever with this engine. Uh, what, else, what, else, what else we have? We have coilovers. Again, these were these were in the car, so I don't know how good they are. They will be tested. I'll see if they're any good. If not, they'll probably get reconned. The ECU has some features like anti lag. Um, so, wastegate will be coming out from the bonnet from this sort of area. Uh, I would like to show you the bonnet, but it's very somewhere in the back. It's going to be there. Yeah, we'll, we'll, put some, we'll put some vids up. We'll talk about we we'll talk about what we're going to do, what he's doing, um, any challenges, any difficult things we have, jobs. Um, what I'm happy to talk about with you guys and share my experience. And as I said, add me on all of my videos, and we'll um, I'll share my experience with this this little toy. Okay, see you guys later.